Good evening. I'm Jared Powell. I'm Don Sanders. With the CTE Sports Zone. A lot of people may be wondering what CTE Media is. Jared, can you tell a little bit about CTE Media? Most definitely, Don. CTE Sports Zone is your new home for high school football and basketball coverage in East Texas and North Texas. Each week, our staff, our coverage team, CTE Media, picks a game of the week. We give a live coverage and live footage right from the game. After the game, we award a most valuable player, an offensive MVP, and a defensive MVP. With these awards comes a free t-shirt with the CTE logo on it, and you get a plaque with our names on it. And we also give you a post-game interview. This segment was brought to you by BK Roads Residential. You buying a house, selling a house, need a house, contact BK Roads Residential, 469-5. 530-1013. Again, 469-530-1013. Let's jump right into it. Let's talk about a little 6A ball, Jared. In 6A, you have the Allen Eagles, the defending state champs from last year. Allen has been a Texas high school football powerhouse for quite some time. They produce current Oklahoma Sooner quarterback, Kyler Murray. Also in 6A, you have the Duncanville Panthers. The Duncanville Panthers are coached by Coach Reginald Samples. Coach Reginald Samples has, done, has been doing an awesome job over at Duncanville. I remember when he was at Skyline, he turned that program around. Now he's at Duncanville, has done the same thing over three years. Also in 6A, you have Cedar Hill Longhorns. Man, the Cedar Hill Longhorns, I tell you, it's something about their explosive offense. Coached by Coach Long, they have been very explosive this year. You know, last year they had a kind of a down year last year, but they're rising to the top this year. Also in that district, District 7, 6A, you have the DeSoto Eagles. They just got a brand new head coach and are coming off a victory over Bishop Dunn. Man, that's a very explosive district right there. But let's not forget about Longview. The Lobos are led by John King and his son, Haynes King, is the quarterback. He's a very great dual threat quarterback, has multiple D1 offers. He's mobile and he can throw down the field. You can't talk about Longview without talking about senior wide receiver Camden Perry. Camden Perry is very explosive and has very strong hands. I expect the Lobos to make a little noise in 6A this year. Let's move on to 5A. You can't talk about 5A without talking about Alito. Alito is currently 3-0. Also in 5A you have Dallas Highland Park, who's all, who is also the defending state champions. And we got Lufkin out of East Texas. Man, Lufkin should have beat Longview a few weeks ago, but they had a few mistakes down the stretch that cost them badly. Let's move on to 4A. We got the Carthage Bulldogs led by Scott Surratt. Of uh, those Carthage Bulldogs, I tell you, Coach Surratt has six state championships in 10 years. He has more state championships than playoff losses. That is simply amazing. Man, they live in, in Texas Stadium now, AT&T Stadium. They've just made it a home. But let's move on to 3A now and talk about those new all in three, you got to talk about those new Eagles. I tell you, those new Eagles, they are led by quarterback Josh Foster. Amazing. He's also a TCU commit. They're also led by running back Darwin Barlow, who's a TCU commit as well. And they're also led by Tomasi Brown, who is also a TCU commit. I tell you, TCU are going to be getting three great athletes. That's a great trio that they're getting. I expect Newton to go all the way this year without any hesitation. Also, let's go back to 5A, Dunn. In 5A, you have South Oak Cliff. I want to talk about the South Oak Cliff Birds for a minute. They're coached by Coach Todd. Coach Todd is an absolute great defensive-minded coach. The uh, South Oak Cliff Bears are very explosive this year. Also, well, something that is surprising me in 5A is the Kimball Knights. The Kimball Knights are 3-0. They're led by quarterback Jamel McWilliams and senior wide receiver Julius Monroe. This is brought to you by CT Fitness. For this next segment, we'll be talking about the game of the week in East Texas. The game of the week. Gilmer versus Carthage. We already talked about Carthage and, and Coach Surratt accolades earlier. I feel like just Car Carthage is, is a great and explosive team. Uh, the first game of the season, they beat Jacksonville 61-20. The second game of the uh, year, they beat uh, Liberty Alu 42-28. And this past week against 5A Marshall, they beat them in a close one, 35-32. Gilm, on the other hand, they're known for putting up a lot of points. They can put up points in bunches with that explosive offense they have. Their highlight win this year is against Atlanta, 47 to 41, and they're coached by Todd Finn. Who do you have winning this ball game? Uh, 
the Bulldogs of Carthage. You know, not too many times you're gonna pick against a powerhouse like Carthage. I expect the house to be full to capacity. You know, I'm also taking Carthage to win this game, 45 to 35 in a close battle. I feel like Carthage has been in this situation too many times, too many big games. They're comfortable in these situations. Scott Surratt will have them ready and fueled up, and Gunner Caps will lead this team to victory. It should be a dandy. Be sure to follow us on social media, on Twitter and Instagram, CTE underscore fitness. Again, that is CTE underscore fitness for your live scoring footage and updates.